everyone i hope you're all doing well um it feels like it's been ages since i filmed a video um it's actually true i think the last video i filmed was like a month ago um so i've been really busy with work and i just really didn't have the time to do anything but i am back i've got so many videos to edit which i filmed ages ago um um but you'll probably see all of them before this video goes up this is some outgoing um christmas mail so I made two of these advent calendar books. Um, it's a cut file from the Silhouette Design store and I'll have it linked down below. I actually made a third one which went on to my best friend but it's not crafty related so I didn't share it and I also forgot to take pictures so you won't be able to see it. But I have two here which are crafty related. Um, this pink one here with the um, shaker background is part of a swap I'm doing with Chantal who is um, Chantal Loves Paper and um, this one is a surprise one for Rachel, um, Rachel Tolman. So I made two, oh, actually I made three of them in total but in today's video I just wanted to show you what they look like. And I also hope the lights are okay because I'm actually using a different setup now so it's really dark because it's like, um, I don't know, like 7 p.m. and it's super dark here. Instead of using my ring light, which kind of takes up a lot of my desk, um, today I decided to use my um, just normal tripod with a lamp on this side and my, like, my room lamp. So I hope it's okay. I hope the lights are okay. So this is the one I'm sending out to Chantal. Um, oh my god there's cat fur in here already Chantal I'm so sorry if you see any cat fur that's just Lexi saying hi but I use this really pretty glitter tool which I got on eBay I've got a little shaker going on here with lots of different collections this is a sequence mix from Rachel which I actually have in my drawer here in front of me with all of Rachel's sequin mixers it's this one which is called Daisy it is so pretty and yeah the back is just plain but it's this really pretty paper with this glitter tool here as well and i'm gonna open it really carefully because these boxes kind of pop open if you don't open it the right way um so just doing it really carefully so i'm not gonna show you what's inside of each box because we'll be here tomorrow if i do that but um, yeah, just make sure you um, check out Rachel's or um, Chantel's Instagram. I'm sure they will be posting some um, sneak peeks. But this is what the inside of this one looks like. Um, so I've got this paper here, which I think is from Busy Sidewalks by Crepe Paper, as well as all of these other papers. These stickers are from the um, sticker pack from Rosie Studio from this year's Christmas collection. And this book has 12 little boxes on each side and um, they're filled with goodies. I'm gonna open door one, well box one with you just to show you what it looks like. Um, so lid comes off and then I've got a little bit of shred in here and this is the first little gift I'm including. So each um, box is filled with different things and there are 24 and I thought this is such a cute little advent calendar. So yeah, I cannot wait for Chantal to receive this one and you can see all of the boxes here. And I used um, a double layer of really thick chipboard to make this box. Like it's like really, really st sturdy. So hopefully this should break in transit. And this is the one I made for Rachel. This paper is from a um, Craftsmith paper pad, I believe from last year. I have no idea what it was called, but it was like a very a girly Christmas paper pad and I loved it. So I've got this paper on the side, did some stitching with my fancy new sewing machine and open it carefully without opening any boxes by accident because some of them are really stuffed. So these lids just won't, won't stay shut. Um, and here I've also used... I think this green paper is from Busy Sidewalks as well and these papers here, so these these boxes were made with I believe Busy Sidewalks, I'm not actually sure, I think it's a mix of different papers. Um, these 
pink ones here in the middle, like these layering pieces, are from a paper pad I got from Action two months ago. And then these numbers um, are die cut. I actually bought a number die set from Sizzix and it's perfect. So I did lots of die cutting, but I'm going to show you what's in day one in this one. Um, oh, it's a uh, tool. So they're, they're kind of different. So I, I made some um, ruffle like glitter tool that she can decorate for her crafts um, because I can finally make stuff like this. So let me try to stuff this back in here. So yeah, I'm very excited for them to receive these advent calendars. Rachel has no idea I'm sending this to her, so I'm very excited to see if it makes on makes it on time and if she likes it, obviously. And yeah, so I just wanted to show you this in today's video. And I will have lots of other Christmas videos up on my channel, hopefully soon. And yeah, hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.